Hello! This is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show you how to create rippling water without plugins. In particular, we will create a small mountain lake. First, create a landscape object by clicking and holding on the cube icon and choosing landscape from the pop-up palette. Go to the object tab of the landscape, increase the size along the y-axis to 200 cm and switch the orientation from plus y to minus y. Open the Asset Browser by clicking on the Asset Browser logo. Search for Rock. Drag and drop the Rocks 01 onto the landscape in the viewport and close the Asset Browser. Then create a plane by clicking and holding on the cube icon and choosing plane from the pop-up palette. Go to the Object tab of the plane. Increase its width and height to 600 cm. Increase the width segments and height segments to 50. Drag the plane down against the Z-axis in the viewport. And zoom in the default camera. Create a displacer deformer by clicking and holding on the band icon and choosing displacer from the pop-up palette and make the displacer deformer a child of the plane. Go to the shading tab of the displacer deformer. Click on the small triangle to the right of the shader and select noise from the drop-down menu. Click on the noise button to open the noise shader properties. Here you can select another type of noise, but we will leave the default noise. If you want, adjust global scale and relative scale properties. To animate the noise displacement, set the animation speed to 1. Set the loop period to 3, so that the noise displacement animation loops seamlessly every 3 seconds or every 90 frames in a 30 frames per second project. Below you can adjust other properties, such as low clip, high clip, brightness and contrast. Move up one level by clicking on the up arrow in the attributes menu and go to the object tab of the displacer deformer. Here you can adjust the strength and height of the displacement. To make the surface smoother, create a subdivision surface by clicking on the subdivision surface icon and make the plane a child of the subdivision surface. Press the play forwards button in the animation toolbar. Stop the animation and go to the start of the timeline. Now create a new ratchet standard material by opening the material manager and clicking on the new default material plus logo. Go to the base properties of the material. Go down to the transmission section. Choose a greenish color so that our water has this tint. Increase transmission weight to 1 to make the water transparent. Apply the material to the plane and close the material manager. Press the play forwards button to test the animation. This is what we got after rendering. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.